Uh, people across many cities in Pakistan are rallying against the recent burning of a Quran in Sweden. The protests were called by Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif. Some demonstrators are demanding that the government cut off diplomatic tithes with Sweden. Al Jazeera's Kamal Haider is in Islamabad. Kamal, why don't you bring us up to speed on the latest? Well, as you can see, there is a protest rally which is underway here in Islamabad. Across Pakistan, there have been protest rallies in all major cities by all major political parties, ordinary citizens also taking part. And of course, there is considerable anger because of the incident of the burning of the Quran outside a mosque in Stockholm. Now, the people here, of course, would want stronger action. Uh, they want uh, the, to send a message to the international community that such acts are intolerable. They say that nobody should be allowed to burn anybody's religious book. This is, after all, a conservative uh, Islamic country. There's also been some criticism as to the delayed response from the government. It's almost a week since that incident took place. And so uh, there is some anger there. But people across Pakistan, across the political divide, are also of the opinion that the world must respect other religions, that such acts uh, uh, do little to uh, improve interfaith harmony, and that uh, these are intolerable acts because uh, they also uh, 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 appeal to the passions of the Islamic world and the Muslims, uh, almost one and a half billion Muslims around the world. So indeed a strong protest, uh, but a peaceful protest throughout the country. Kamal Haider reporting from Islamabad. Thank you very much.